Michelaripans is commonly known as partridge berry. The plant is native to eastern North America. The partridge berry was commonly used by American Indian tribes to hasten childbirth. It was also occasionally used to treat a variety of other complaints like insomnia, rheumatic pain and fluid retention. It's still used in modern herbalism as an aid to childbirth and it's also considered to have a tonic effect on the uterus and the ovaries. The herb is a stringent, diuretic, hypnotic and tonic. Frequent doses of the tea made from the fresh or the dried leaves were used by the American Indian women in the weeks before childbirth in order to promote easy delivery. The tea is also used to treat delayed, painful and irregular menstruation. It's used externally as a wash for hives, swellings, sore nipples and rheumatism. The tea has a definitive sedating effect on the nervous system. It's believed to benefit all uterine complaints and many gynaecological ailments and it's been used to ease menstrual cramps and bring on suppressed menstruation. It's said to relieve pelvic congestion and to alleviate the mucus discharge of leucorrhea. It's thought to soothe the mucous membranes and reduce catarrh and excess mucus. It's believed to be effective in the treatment of diarrhea and colitis. Its use as a mild tonic has a soothing effect on the nervous system and this helps to calm the nerves, ease nervous exhaustion and irritability. It promotes suppressed urine and it's also effective in some cases of dropsy or edema, which is the retention of fluid by the body that causes swelling and discomfort. It can be used as an astringent skin wash. It can give ease in urinary tract infections, interstitial cystitis and benign prostate hyperplasia as a diuretic and an astringent. It's also been used as a moderate astringent for gastrointestinal disorders like diarrhoea, irritable bowel syndrome and inflammatory bowel disease. In Ayurveda, it was used to treat infertility, difficult menses, lower back pain, nipple discharge or repeated miscarriage. The berry is made into a jam and it's sold commercially in Newfoundland. The fruit, when consumed raw, is pleasant and slightly aromatic. A tea can be made from the leaves, but you should avoid using this during pregnancy and breastfeeding. It should not be used during the first six months of labour as it can induce a miscarriage. The herb has a bitter taste and it can cause irritation to the mucous membranes. Using it may result in a burning feeling in the digestive tract if it's taken in excess and it can even damage the liver. To learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.